Hey guys, Matt here. Welcome to Learn to Discern. Today we're continuing our study through the book of Galatians as we'll be looking at chapter 4 verses 8 through 11. But before we get to our teaching, if you guys want to help promote Christian content on YouTube, please go ahead and take a second now to subscribe to my channel and thank you in advance. Okay guys, a shorter passage of scripture today, so let's just go ahead and read through the whole thing and then we'll go back to the top and work our way through. So starting in verse 8. Formerly, when you did not know God, you were enslaved to those that by nature are not gods. But now that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, how can you turn back again to the weak and worthless elementary principles of the world, whose slaves you want to be once more? You observe days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid I may have labored over you in vain. So if you've been with us up to this point in our study, you know that the Apostle Paul has just been going in on the subject of justification by faith. It's not about your works. It's not about your law keeping. You are justified by faith in Christ alone. And in fact, you are in really big danger if you are teaching other people that they are justified by works or if you are trusting in your own works because you're still under a curse. And so this is coming, the section that we're looking at today, right after a section where he talked about the purpose of the law. The law was our tutor, meant to show us our sin, meant to point us to our need for a savior. And so now here in verse 8, Paul says, formerly, when you did not know God, you were enslaved to those that by nature are not gods. So these uh, Galatian believers that he is writing to, he, he's reminding them that there was a time before they knew God, where they were enslaved to those things that by nature are not God. So this is talking about the idols, the pagan religious rituals under which they would have practiced. You're doing all of these motions. You have all these ceremonies, all these things that you're doing. You're doing it to a false God. And these things don't actually earn or achieve righteousness for you. You're enslaved to constantly trying to do more, more, more religious piety more works, and it never leads you anywhere. You are enslaved to those things. He is reminding them of that in verse 8. In verse 9, he says, but now that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, how can you turn back again to the weak and worthless elementary principles of the world, whose slaves you want to be once more? So at one point in verse 8, they did not know God. In verse 9, it says, but now you have come to know God, or rather to be known by by God. This is really expressing the intimacy of the relationship. In our previous section of Galatians chapter 4, the Apostle Paul reminded his readers that if they are in Christ, they are now sons of God. They are no longer slaves. They are sons. That is an intimate relationship. And he's saying, listen, if you have left the idolatry and the pagan religious rituals, how can you now having this intimate relationship with God, turn back to the weak and worthless elementary principles of the world. Uh, that term, elementary principles, also showed up in our passage last week, and we can see here more from the context that this has to do with religious practices that you think are going to make you right with God. Uh, Paul is saying, how can you turn back to those things. You were enslaved to these things. They did not make you right with God. Now you have an intimate relationship with God and you want to go back to those things that enslaved you and that did not accomplish anything for you? How can that be? This is why Paul is so exasperated and frustrated by the Galatians. He just can't believe all throughout this letter that they are walking away from grace in a sense. I mean, they are trying to embrace all of these extra things on top of faith. Oh, you have to do faith plus all of these works, plus circumcision, plus, as we're going to see here in verse 10, observing days and months and seasons and years. You think it's about the ceremonies. You think it's about the rituals. And that is certainly not the case. A great cross-reference when we talk about verse 10, observing days, months, seasons, and years, is here in Colossians uh, Colossians chapter 2. In verse 8, it says, See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according 
to Christ, right? So this is speaking of the same thing, thinking that you're going to be right with God through your works. But he even explains some of it further down here in verses 16 and 17. Therefore, let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food and drink or with regard to a festival or a new moon or a Sabbath. These are a shadow of the things to come, but the substance belongs to Christ. One of the problems with the Galatians is that they are being told that there are these ceremonies, there are these rituals, there are these festivals, and you need to participate in all of these things if you truly want to be saved. And un unfortunately, it does not save you, it enslaves you. It it's a really big problem. And so in verse 11, Paul says, I am afraid I may have labored over you in vain. So think about the concern there. The Apostle Paul has already in this letter made it very clear that he laid out the gospel to them. It was very clear. He let them know what the gospel is. But now it seems that some of them are turning away from that gospel. And of course, he is completely confused about it. And think about how much the Apostle Paul suffered. Suffered when he was trying to get the gospel to all of these different regions. So to go through persecutions and beatings and hardships and to feel like people are turning away from that gospel, how difficult it must have been. But we also see Paul's heart in the fact that he is continuing to reach out to them. He is writing to them. He is imploring them to turn away from this works-based sort of system that they are adopting, especially from um, the circumcision group, the people who are coming in and trying to convince them that you must be uh, circumcised. These are the Judaizers. He is, he is imploring them, turn away from that. Remember, your righteousness is found in Christ alone. Your salvation, friend, if you are trusting in Christ, is by grace through faith, not through your own works. And we need to make sure that we are always rooted in that fact. Okay, guys, I hope today's teaching was helpful to you. If it was and you want to help get content like this out to more people on the internet, please make sure you take a second now to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, God bless.